This weekend, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, St. Joseph Parish of Mountain View is grateful to be able to welcome the faithful to worship inside our beautiful church building. The directives of the Diocese of San Jose and the County of Santa Clara have given us guidelines we need to follow to ensure the health and safety of all who come to our parish church. Communication is more difficult and more important than ever before as we joyfully make this transition. If you are not already subscribed to the Parish Online Newsletter or the Parish YouTube channel, we encourage you to do so in order for us to be able to keep you informed of all latest developments. In order to comply with the mandatory directive for gatherings, as amended by the County of Santa Clara, we are limited to a total of 100 persons inside the church building, including priest celebrant, ministers, AV team, and volunteers who serve at a particular liturgy. In order to guarantee our compliance, it is very important for all parishioners to make a reservation for the Holy Mass which they wish to attend, as seating arrangements are assigned by number. You may make your reservation by sending a text message to 650-336-8849. Please note that the reservations line does not receive phone calls. Likewise, the parish office main number does not receive text messages. Because of the increased number of persons who may gather for worship, it will be necessary for you to arrive early for Mass as our temperature checking, contact tracing, and sanitation procedures remain in effect in order to protect every person from the spread of the virus. Check-in time is therefore expected to take longer. For the same reason, entry and exit must be closely observed in order to limit contact among persons. The main church door is the only entrance. The side doors will be used for exit only. Also, in order to provide proper ventilation, please be aware that all doors and windows must remain open. On cooler days, you may wish to ensure to have warm enough clothing. We are keeping very mindful that an indoor gathering place is more dangerous with regard to the spread of the virus than an outdoor gathering place. For this reason, we must do all that we can to practice all of the necessary safety and sanitation protocols. We have learned as a community that the way for us to remain safe is for us to care for each other. Our outdoor masses have shown us that teams of volunteers are needed to ensure our compliance with safety protocols at every mass. We need more volunteers, and we ask you to consider joining the team in order to keep our gatherings safe for everyone as we move into this next phase. We have prayed for months to be allowed to gather safely to worship. Let us now pray that our efforts are fruitful and successful and that we continue to keep everyone safe and healthy.